right, hey everyone. Let's do another PCGS unboxing. So another mail call here. Bear with me while I open this thing up and I'll go through that whole process. So this is the other portion of the same submission. These are the uh, dollar coins and a Barber half dollar and Barber dime. So just kind of full circle coming in to show the uh, grading results. I know what the grading results are for this, but I thought it'd be fun to let all of you guys get a little bit of a surprise. And um, for anyone who is potentially good at grading, uh, maybe you can see how good your assumptions were based on the earlier video. <laughs> Making a mess. is great but it also sort of just falls apart um, so trying to get good at pulling off one solid piece still not but these boxes are sweet I'm definitely going to use these for a long-term storage location all right getting a little bit better right that didn't take forever identifier inside just to check before yeah just a second boop, boop. Nice. sweet all right here we go so i thought this was again pretty wonderful in terms of just being really receptive to some requests that i didn't know were possible but um when this was shipped back there were six um, six dollar coins from the mint, and I requested that they all be, you know, all those containers be provided back. Um, and just little things like that. I thought that was really nice that they'll that they'll be receptive to that. Uh, I'm pretty sure this might even be my bubble wrap. I'm not sure about that, but again, really cool that they'll just uh, you know when you send it in. So I didn't put them in two by two flips. I just set them straight. Uh, opened up the uh, the packaging from the mint, from the U.S. Mint, and just took these guys out. But as I think in the last video you saw, it, and they all came back. So I think initially just want to say that's pretty nice because then you can save on supplies, and um, just in terms of you know just good practices for what PCGS will allow. Um, I'm glad that it, it wasn't, you know, in conflict with what, you know, what they want. Um, these two by two flips aren't, you know, I just didn't want to um, have to run the risk of potentially putting a brand new coin from the mint out of a, a holder and into a two by two and just, you know, all the possible chance for um, issues there. So, so that's pretty awesome. Um, all right. So I'm just going to try and see where we go. So let's. I think let's start with the so again I'm pretty happy with with this so um, so we actually did really well with the Morgans they all came back as MS 70 so I thought that was pretty sweet um, again not sure if anyone even had any feelings that they would be different, but um, we'll just keep an eye on these. They were in a really great condition. And I don't actually know, you know, this is kind of like a new thing for me, but if um, if you can get coins from the mint, right, in, you know, in those holders and they're not 
in perfect condition. So I think that that's something that's a, a question for me. Love to see if anyone can answer that in the comments, if they've ever had a, uh, you know, a coin come straight from the mint, right? When you're getting something like this, where you're buying one coin and it's gonna be shipped in a, you know, its own holder, it's got its own COA, and it's not like in you know, pristine condition. Um, has anyone had experience with that? So really super happy with the Morgans because they all came back in, in the 70s. You can't really do better than that. And then I think these are gonna be all through the peace dollars. So again, the peace dollars did really well. I will say that I was a, point, a little bit surprised with the Peace Dollars getting the MS-70. Let me see if I can find the one. They're really great. Um, the coins are really, you know, just... So, for example, on this one, I don't know if you're going to see it. You see it by, like, the L in Liberty. It's a little bit off there. Um, I thought that was something that could potentially cause the... Now, I don't, I don't know if it's... I don't know what to, how to describe it, but... You just see kind of almost like a line going across the um, the coin. There it is, right there. I was worried it was going to impact the um, the grade. And on this side, you can sort of see in the field right here where my pointer finger is pointing. Um, just something, you know. I sort of obsessed over these things before sending them in and um, looking at them under a loop um, you can kind of start to see things that may not really be be there but everyone was saying that these are going to be graded by someone looking at them under a microscope so in terms of just like it makes sure that you know it really gets graded by the um you know for, for the right sorry gets the right grade and so i was a little bit surprised obviously very happy that they all came back ms70 but i was a little bit surprised um, and again, wonderful first experience because you, know, you can't do much better. So this is the one I think that I was a little bit worried about. And if you look just to the left of the nose on this guy, I'm trying to get it to pop, but there's like a little bit of like almost like a mark, right where the cartwheeling is kind of above the cartwheeling. So for this one, I was, it's, I can't tell what that is, but almost looks like a little ding in the field just to the left of the nose again very happy that this didn't get um get a lower you know grade on it but it was the one that had the most i thought was most likely to not get it because of that again super happy um and you know doing this with the doing this with the initial membership these guys ended up being um I think really reasonably priced to get that done because it was uh, through my first submission, there were free vouchers. So all this ended up being, you know, just like, kind of like a wonderful add on to again, getting that pen regraded. So now we have the Barber coins and, you know, I think no surprise here, just in terms of, you know, how, how these graded, I was, um, you know, for the half dollar, wasn't really expecting a whole lot because it's pretty worn. This really, this went in because I was, uh, just, just because the, the coin value is kind of above around a hundred dollars, which is my break point usually for submitting coins. Um, again, just kind of happy to get this one graded because it's been in a flip for a really long time and has some, you know, sentimental value to me as one of the you know, one of the first uh, kind of like low mintage coins I found just in, in um, uh, you know, without buying them in a specific lot. So I was really happy to, to get that um, graded and then also just to protect it. So I'll probably hold on to that one for a while. And then same thing with this one. I'm just gonna try and focus a little bit better on this. Um, I think, <laughs> You know, this one, the coin value goes up significantly, the, you know, just by, you know, one or two grades above where it is. So would have loved it to be a little bit better, 
but again, similar to that Barber half, um, I bought this one in kind of a large collection. Um, it wasn't, we didn't know it was in that collection, so it ended up being one of those really great kind of finds where you're just buying bulk coins and then you get something that kind of falls into this. I'm sure what happened was just with the condition of this dime and the, you know, kind of, you know, barely legible mint mark, I'm sure it just passed through and the, the person selling it didn't realize it was there. Um, so really happy to have been able to, to pick it up. But so this is the kind of, again, follow up to the to the last um, uh, video on you know, just the initial, my initial submission to PCGS where I was using the, um, in, you know, the, the uh, you get that kind of like subscription, you get these free vouchers and, and that resulted in me looking through to try and figure out what, um, what other coins might make sense submitting now. And that's where these guys came in. So, um, Happy to finally have the the Morgans and Peace Dollars graded. Kind of a funny situation because for these ones, um, I don't really do a lot of purchasing from the Mint, but uh, it kind of got. Uh, I was informed that this is a, a low a mintage year, and was able to hop on before they sold out. Really regret not buying more from this year, but um, happy that I bought when I did because. One, they are really well graded and um, they seem to have really held to their value. So um, just happy to have done that. And then again, just kind of going through my, my uh, limited collection of, of coins worthy of being graded. And, and that's where this turned out. So again, really happy with how these, uh, the experience with PCGS has just been really great. Um, and yeah, look, for, look forward to try and find some more coins to submit. Got a little bit the of the uh, the itch to kind of submit more more coins to the uh, to be graded. I think the the obvious uh, uh, limiting factors are you know which ones are actually worthy of the of the, the cost to go in. But that is part of the game and uh, and part of the fun of this hobby. So thanks for watching. Um, definitely, if you have any comments or questions and. Uh, uh, I'd love to see them in, in the in the field and definitely don't forget to subscribe. So thanks a lot for watching.